This is Dolores' day. The old woman in the village was right. He looks around. This must be the DeLorean Church of Humanity in Martinez, or the small Pinewood Church in some records. You knew of the place. It's a minor landmark. Not easy to find. Most maps misplace it. He lowers his voice. It was built not after, not long after Revishaw's founding. Three hundred or so years by the first, years ago by the first generation settlers. On the coast of an uninhabited archipelago, where only animals had roamed before in the wild reeds. What else do you know? There used to be seven stave churches on the coast. The Sept Sauer, they called them. The Seven Sisters. Only one remains. The rest were built in the revolution, or used for building materials. We should be respectful here. Although the building appears to be deserted, I do not believe we'll find anything connect con con connected to the lynching here. Something else, perhaps? He looks at the machinery lying around. Respectful? Is the lieutenant a follower of DeLoreanism? Pang of guilt. The lieutenant is leaving something out. Do you know why it was abandoned? They have a theory, yes. There was a police raid a while back. Heard the place was shot to pieces. The old woman in the village was being tactful with us when she didn't mention it. She has more respect for the RCM than many around here. Who conducted this raid? Well, your station was involved, I hear. Although I can't be sure. How come a lieutenant isn't sure? Is this confidential information? You're not sure? Three precincts were involved in the raid. People say Precinct 41 was one of them. I don't remember being here. I'm pretty sure it was a clandestine operation. I don't know anything more about it. Why it was conducted or who participated, I try not to pry into extra district matters. If I was here, I should find out what I was doing. Good luck. You will not get information on a confidential operation from your station secretary just by calling. If you really don't remember, it might be better to keep this one forgotten. Is this what fucked me up? It happened a while ago. It's unimportant to our business in Martinez now. Kim, are you a follower of DeLoreanism? Yes, we all are. Her name, body, and rule are synonymous with humanism. The laws we enforce are DeLorean in origin. Hmm. The woman looks by in silence, smiling enigmatically. I didn't think you were spiritual. It's not spiritual, it's constitutional. DeLorean system does not demand faith, only accordance. Okay, so she was like a real queen or whatever and she was just a really good person, a humanist. I can get behind that. How did I know this was the mother of humanism? Despite the damage you've done to yourself, the title appears lodged in your hippocampus. This is her innocence, Dolores Day. The innocence of humanism, internationalism, and the welfare state. Perhaps the most famous human being to have ever lived. No amount of Commodore Red can wipe her sad smile from your brain thing. It has survived the deluge that haunts you- the, the deluge and haunts you still, and will haunt you forever, as it haunts all men. Was there something terrifying about her? Terrifying is a term too emotionally, emotionally charged for your semantic memory, or what remains of it. But terrifying is a simple word. She was bad for humanity, and you shouldn't have started thinking about her. No. Was there something bad about her? I want to know. You already do. Although she's often considered to be the greatest human being to ever live, there was something ominous about Dolores Day. Constantly surrounded by Aetherius. She was the most socially secluded and least self-aware of all the innocences. Some modern thinkers would consider her a war criminal for the campaigns she waged against the Mesca state. And then, there were the resettlement programs. What happened? The Mesca state tried to detach itself from the innocentic, innocentic rule. Parts of the world were experiencing whiplash from accelerating into secularism. Her mandatory education programs and mass resettlement of the upstream Marguerite were, Marguerite were a problem as well. Dissenters were suppressed by a military force she called the Army of Humanity, suggesting those who fight against it are not part of humanity. She'd chess, yes, but 
Also military war games. Dolores Day often holds a tiny tin soldier between her index and finger and thumb. In icons such as this, she was also blonde. The blondest woman you have ever seen, with green eyes, the color of the Pizantic Mare in, Te in Terragnum. Little is known of our Marchese husband. It's as if he vanished from history after completing his role, which was to introduce Dolores Day in court, or to court. In conclusion, yes, there is something lonely, paranoid, and even terrifying that people seldom mention, but feel when they think of her. The subtle terror is part of her icon iconography. Lieutenant Yefretia, you've stood there for over five minutes. Lieutenant's calm voice echoes in the cold air of the church. What are you thinking of, if I may ask? Glowing lungs. That's fucked up. <laughs> well... She's connected to the case. She's been dead for 300 years. I am a thousand percent certain she isn't connected to the case. He takes his glasses off to clean them. None of this is in- none of this is, in fact. This church, the coast, isn't a good place to get lost in. Fuck! Oh no, is that like a big thing? Is that what I'm doing by just wandering the wilderness and wasting time for the case? Oh, if they've implemented that as an actual thing, that is so impressive. I love that. But I also hate it because I want to complete everything, but it's really, really cool. I think we can do this though. I think we can, I think I can time manage enough. Reconstruct the cracked glass. A jigsaw, of, oh wow. Broken shards falls into place in front of you. A ghostly reconstruction of stained glass, of the stained glass window, for it was shattered. There was an older woman beneath the younger one. And a text, a leitmotif, below them both. That's a woman? Looks a little bit like Jim Sterling. <laughs> Um, what shattered this mosaic? Unknown. Something during the raid the lieutenant mentioned? Or just hooligans looking for something to break? Who is this older woman? The Eschithian, okay, on her throne, says, Irene the Navigator. She's depicted as an older woman wearing thick-rimmed eyeglasses, holding a Reichsaffel in one hand. And a scepter in the other. Oh, right. So, like, uh, Reich, what does it mean? Um, hey Siri. Define Reich. The former German state, most often used to refer to the Third Reich, the Nazi regime from 1933 to 1945. That doesn't explain what it means. It means, doesn't it mean kingdom? Or, like, cause? Oh, for fuck's sake, hold on. Rich. It technically means rich. Rich apple, I guess. In one hand and a scepter in the other. This is the queen. Her innocence day advised. What? This is the queen, her innocence day advised. Oh, so day wasn't the queen, just the advisor to the queen. Above... She herself is whole. Small figures of wise men, common men, worshippers walk up the stairs to stand at her feet. Secret servicemen, Therias, stand in a row guarding her. It must have taken years to produce this work in all its dizzying detail. The motto, what does it say? Below both women, in luminous black letter, Après la vie, mort, après la mort, la vie de nouveau. And then along the left side, Après le monde, le gris, Après le gris, le monde de nouveau. After life, death. After death, life again. After the world, the pale. After the pale, the world again. This is the great leitmotif of humanism. A summary of the effect of the discovery of this Isola. The Insulindian on human thinking. A tremendous sea change akin to finding life after death. Lieutenant, this used to say after life, death. After death, after death, life again. After the world, the pale. After the pale, 
the world again. This exaltation is common in DeLorean sacralism. In the early years, it was even incorporated into the RCM slogan. No more, however. Why? It was deemed subservient to use strongly moral intern related motto. We're already suspected of bootlicking. The sentence was also seen as too feminine. It was a macho thing. What's the RCM motto now? Justice, union, prudence, force. I like this. Puts the fear of God back in the... No! No thank you! Jeez, why does it let you be that much of a dick? <laughs> I mean, sure, I guess you can play whoever you want, even if it's an absolute scumbag, and I appreciate that. But oof! Ah. I like the other one better. So do I. Step back. Hmm. I thought I was about to have a heart attack, that would have been bad. Hey! Our innocence Dolores Day like little figurines, right? Like holding little men between her fingers, remember? What? You have that headless foul rider figurine figurine? You should give it to her. Win her back. What? Win who back? I I can't win her back. She's a long dead historical figure. Don't be so pessimistic. Love doesn't die that easily. This isn't funny. You have a bad feeling about this one. Okay, it's a task of mine now. So very, very, very nifty! Nifty and mysterious! This is surely what the figurines are for. I mean... Is it? What the hell's going on? Looks like I can't give a f this figurine to her. Why? Is it a stained glass window? That doesn't seem to be a problem. Maybe you meant something else? Like what? Is the, star is the task still on? I don't know. What are we thinking of? Part of your mind has gone to other things already. Only a strange little sadness remains. The mother of humanism towers above you. What? Yeah, okay. Well, that's immensely strange. So, finally time to get onto the crab man. I wasn't entirely sure you'd still be here. Thanks for waiting the several hours I've been exploring this church. Much appreciated. Is that a man? Looks more like part of the carpentry of the building. Came alive and is now studying you intently. Mm. Say nothing. Be quiet for now. The man leans forward a little, fixing you with a steady, unreadable gaze, then speaks. I bet your alcohol use has made you into a scared little pussy, Holmes. But don't worry. Everything's gonna be alright. You've come to the right place. That accent is Villa Lobos, Peninsular Mesque, and a district in Jamrock. There's a sizable contingent of Villa Lobos speaking Mesques in Revachol. Excuse me, needed some water. Um, the right place you want. You can receive the mother's love. And when you're ready, she will take your hand and lift you out of the despair at the bottom of the bottle. This man is obviously a habitual narcotics user. Do we really need to question him? I'm put off by this religious stuff, he thinks. And maybe the ceiling climbing too. <laughs> it's all very hard to square with the lieutenant's own view of reality. Hey, and what was that about the bottle again? You haven't even drank that much lately. Lay off it already, sheesh. Ah, uh, I guess I have a bit of a problem, but I've been getting... It's been getting out of hand lately, or I'm a policeman and I need to talk to you about police things. I don't know anything about alcohol use or... Oh, hell no, fuck this, run away. Ah, uh, the first one. This does good away. I see deep inside you. Your body and spirit are suffering greatly from overindulgence. And you don't even know it. Great, more patronizing. So original. Or, oh, I'm very in touch with my suffering. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, let's go for that. Not all of it. I was like you once. You don't know all the havoc that we know is wreaking on your mind and your spirit. Necesitas parar, homie. You know, actually, since we're here, you may want to pay attention to what the ceiling climber is saying. Just your tie. Who do you think you are? Some kind of crazy guy under the roof? What is this shit? I mean, that is what he thinks he is, because that is what he is. Uh, for some reason I feel like you have a point there, or, you know, alcohol is central to my identity. If I wouldn't drink, I just wouldn't be me, that's not true. Ah, uh, it's all well and good, but we need to talk about the unlicensed occupation of- uh, fuck that. It's stu- uh, none of these are particularly drawing me. Normally in this game, which a lot of RPGs fuck up, there's always an option that I, like, like? 
None of these I, are, are something I'd really go with. But I guess I'll go for the most basic of, for some reason, I feel like you have a point there. Don't trust me. Trust them all. I'm all in a messenger, Holmes. His voice echoes in the cold air of the church. This is the church of the Mother of Silence. You are welcome here. He sways gently on the beams, waiting for you to take it all in. You have no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Is he just trying to throw you off your game? This is not an act, my liege. Saving, perchance, he hath deceived his very self. This man is a zealot. Hmm. Do you know where the other spooker is? One of the strange machinery. Oh, you must be the crab man. We'll go with that. Never known myself to be a crab, but if that's the name you've got for me, I won't stop you from using it. I'm really bad at, like, a Mexican-Spanish accent, whatever, so that's the best you're gonna get. Sounds like a less intense Kim. Okay, to be fair, it's really more like a spider. Hey, it's your neighbors who came up with the name. Not me. Consider this for a moment. I always thought of myself more like a flame, flickering along the rafters and beams. Maybe that I just got to work on my technique. <laughs> it's not the only technique he's working on. Look at those carved sculptures. And is that a satchel of tools over there? Hmm. Wait, did you also carve all those sculptures? Sure am. Whittling wood used to be something I did just to busy my hands. And now I use those same hands in service of something greater than my own restlessness. All right, let's consider the context and meaning here. Uh, got some nice curves going there, for fuck's sake. I see what you've done there. It's as if these figures are trying to become one with the church, or perhaps the mother herself. Okay. Yeah, let's go with that. It's all just for the mother, man. No need to overthink it. What were you before you became a crab? A woodcarver? Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> and a woodcarver. I was in a gang, eh? And my memories of that time are fading. Most of them are already gone. Ah! So many people losing their memory. Certain portents of doom. I lost my memory too. And it haunts me. I lost my memory too, but I like it. It's like I get to create a whole new me. Start again from scratch. That's really not the point, Tessie. You gotta give yourself over to service. Service of the mother, that is. Do you remember your name, sir? The lieutenant is not particularly interested in this information. He's just trying to assert some control over the conversation. Tiago is my name, but those syllables don't mean much to me these days. A name isn't just your identity, but also, so to speak, your place among your fellows, your place in the world. I ain't got no use for such a place anymore. I don't do names either. Names are out. I don't care what mine is. He smiles enigmatically. That's not quite right, but you are getting somewhere. Any one of us could have been so anything else. We are all one. who we'll sing the mother's glory. What are you doing here? This is a special place. There's a perforation in the world up there. A way out into nothingness. He nods towards the ceiling. This church was built around it. For purposes of veneration. I circle it. Nurtured by the silence bestowed on them by the mother. One of these days I'll be- one of these- what? Sorry, I thought that- I circled it. Nurtured by the silence bestowed by the mother. One of these days I'll be pure enough to drink from it directly. Hmm. As mother of silence. You mean her? Point at the window. No, 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 no. There's a new god in town. She can't be painted or sculpted because she has no limbs. Or even a face. She is the end. She is a cavity in the dark. But I can describe it to you. No one can, Holmes. No one ever will. What will happen once you drink from this perforation? I will be incinerated but not destroyed. Finally, at one with the state of the world before reality began. It sounds like a bit... That sounds a bit like a substitution behavior, no? You know a thing or a few about that. Ah, you sure you didn't just switch one drug for another? It's not like that at all, man. It's just faith and joyful service. Too gleeful. Those words, he's lying. Not to you, but his own very self. Faith is kind of a drug. He shakes his head. I've heard that before, eh? And I know I can't convince you on the spot, but think. 
When's the last time you woke up from silent communion with a hangover? Regretting what you did last night? There are drugs darker than alcohol circling your system. I think love might have been my drug of choice. I think I'm still hungover from it. He looks at you gravely. She took you for a good spin, huh? Don't worry, bro. That love is but a drop in the ocean compared to the mother's love. The mother will eat all of you and never spit you out. I was being insensitive, sorry. Let's move on. No worries, man. I know this shit takes time. I still don't understand what you're doing in the church. I'm a seraph, Holmes. I sing the mother's glory. You should sing for me. I'm the superstar cop. Or well, it doesn't really make sense for you to sing if she's the mother of silence. Well, yeah, singing is good. We should all sing a bit more. <laughs> I don't mean literal singing, Holmes. It's the mother of silence we're talking about. It's the singing of a burning heart. You may be thinking, the fire crackles. No, Holmes. That's a material b burning. That's the material that's burning. The flames themselves are without sound. How did you even find this place, this church? Hard to say. I think I did some construction work here, back when I still had material worries. Up there, I realized what the true purpose of the church was. Been spending a lot of time here ever since. The past is nothing to me now. It didn't belong to me. Are these yours? Show them the scarf and the shoes you found lying around. I think they were, a long time ago. He looks at the red clothing items in your hand. I had to shed them. Like skins. To get closer to the center of the silence. You can have them. I don't need them anymore. I had other questions. You've been here for a long time. Did you see the police raid that took place here? Something like that. He responds, his voice suddenly flat. Did you witness it? Not really, or at least I don't remember much of it anymore. The mother's love has done its job. That's what's so great about the mother. That's you forget about everything. Do you know where the other spooky spooker is? Pointed the strange machines around you. Other oh, spooker? Oh, it's a Vieta muy studiosa. Dunno, Holmes. Vieta is grandma? Wait, so there is another person living in the church, and it's uh, Vieta? No, I just call her Vieta because of her clothes. She's actually quite young. He scratches his head. Or well, maybe not that young. Age is just one of the many masks we wear. And you don't know where she is. That's what I said, Holmes. How can you know what? Not know what that. How can you not know that when you both live here? I don't really follow our comings and goings. Just see her typing on a computer now and then. We got different interests. So you got nothing else to tell me? How she looks? What she does? Who is she? I'm not a. I'm afraid not, Essay. You just have to wait until she comes back. Or. Have you by any chance heard the Viette say the password to her radio computer? Too many times, Essay. <laughs> you need it for something? Surveys are a good way to fish for personal information, especially in the name of public safety. <laughs> I'm doing a survey of passwords and passcodes, identifying regional trends in the interest of public safety, of course. Don't sweat it, Fatto. The password is... Afterlife? Death. That is true. But what comes after death? What do you think of that? Makes me almost pity a uh, Lan Nihilista Pequeno when I hear it. Hmm. I mean, it's true, right? <laughs> you can hardly deny that, even if you believe in all this bullshit. Uh, some ravers want to turn this place into a nightclub. One's in the tent outside, right? I've seen them. Guessing they're probably the ones who call me a crab. Probably scared of me. Hmm. Do they have reason to be scared? Oh man, they look pretty funny. And I don't come to harm no one anyway. I, I don't harm no one anymore anyway. So what do you think? Of the nightclub, that is. Why not? Don't bother me none. I'm usually up there, up here, imbibing. Ain't no music on earth that can reach where I go. Might even be nice to have some company. He said that in spite of himself. He's more attached to the human than he'd like to think. Okay then. Thanks. I thought you were going to be an awful lot scarier than that, dude. 
I think we're done here, Esse. The figure crews off into the darkness above. That was an interesting conversation. However, I'm not sure how it's relevant to our investigation. Well, at the very least, now I can break into that goddamn computer. I mean, I guess we can try. I'm quickly gonna look through that new thought we just picked up and see if it looks in any way interesting. And it makes us in an insomniac, yay, as if we weren't already. It's been brought to your attention that you're an alcoholic. And that it's a sickness, and it's killing you. You're crawling on your knees through life, your booze-filled belly dragging on the ground. Your brain now fuzzy, now in overdrive. Your hair sticking together with today's cold sweat and yesterday's vomit. Perhaps they're right. Anything is better than this. Even bone-dry reality itself. Maybe you can quit. That is the next thought we internalize. It's gonna take some time, because I need a skill point, but oh my god, if I don't want to fix my little dude here, and I want to give him a new name, and have him start a new life, and all kinds of shit. We gotta go back to that other computer, too. Press play again. The password is... After life... Death. Good. I've unlocked the filament. After ending the call, please press pr please press print to access the filament. Fortress accident, is there anything else I can do for you today? Thanks, but I'm finished with this call. Thank you, Yvonne. Print. The printer prints a long text document with dated paragraphs. It looks a little like someone's journal. Read the printout. First entry made on the 4th of February 52 by an unknown author. It's short and concise. Arrived at the church. Ar oh, it's a woman, isn't it? Arrived at the church. The door was boarded up, so I used a crowbar to get inside. Looks like the place has been deserted. Nothing out of the ordinary, but I'll ask around. Need to figure out how to get the electricity in. The lieutenant leans closer, scouring the prints out over your shoulder. Just as you finish reading it, he looks up, muttering under his breath. 4th of February. That's over a month ago. Whoever set up these machines has been here for quite a while. Do you think this log might be connected to the case? Our case? No, I don't think so. Must be some local. His eyes wander to the various machines around him. Eccentric. Uh, read the second entry. 6th of Feb, 52. Had a little chat with the local fisherman. Said I shouldn't go near the place. That the church was spooky and ridden with narcotics. It's a little spooky, alright. Still haven't figured out the electricity. See? Even- Wait, how have you not figured out the electricity if you're currently writing a journal on a computer? Unless it's currently at your house, I don't know. See? Even one of the spookers themselves says it's unnerving. Read the third entry. 7th of Feb, 52. Finally got the electricity in. Next on the agenda, a new antenna. Uh, fuck me. Next on the agenda, a new antenna. I'm thinking Eska series? Something advanced. Why would you need an antenna? Why would anyone need any of this equipment here? He steps on a wire running on the ground, inspecting it with his boot. Read the fourth entry. 8th of Feb, 52. Bought the antenna and had some problems setting it up. Called Simo for help. Had the others are back to making art, drinking somewhere out of town. Lulislav, it is the fucking guys, because I remember that night. Sulislav started a rock band again. Lexi has been ask has been seen asking money from s oh, asking money from strangers, artists yet again, harassing citizens, stealing badges, occupying public spaces with installations like the one here. But at least the artists have their act together. They're qualified labor. They can get work anywhere. Graphic design, ads, the programmers are doing fine too. I mean, they're programmers. The writers, though? We're fucked. I just have to find out what caused the data loss and be done with it. Still don't understand how, I'm, how it managed to wipe out the backup when the backup wasn't even connected to the front. I know, I know. Everyone thinks it's impossible. They say I must be lying. I'm here to set it right. Artists, programmers, Lexi. Who are all these people? I think they're the people who worked in the radio computer games business. The ones we saw in the Doom commercial area. They must be her former co-workers. The data loss. Seems like something to do with radio computers. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about them to understand what the author is saying. Something about the backup data getting destroyed and how everyone thought it was just the author's thought. It was the author- Yeah, the author's fault. He adjusts his glasses. Let's just keep reading. 
12th of Feb, 52. Bought some food from the grocery store. Uh, apparently there's a strike going on in the harbor. Definitely not happy to see Martinez people again. Okay, fair enough. Everything's now set up in the church. I'm gonna start working tomorrow, 8 a.m. The strike. He strokes his chin. We're nearing the date of the murder. Keep reading. I'm interested now. I want to know what's... What... What's that radio anomaly that sent this person here in the first place? Sixth entry. The 25th of Feb. So that's like another near two weeks on. Okay. I've been sending data to up to Lintel for a while now, trying to recreate the data loss, but nothing. Didn't even feel like logging in the disappointment. But I did discover a curious audio spatial anomaly at the back of the church. I've named it the Swallow. It's swallow sound. Need to get some mics. Is she talking about... The lieutenant looks to his right, toward the silence. Read the seventh entry. The 28th of Feb, 52. Yes, the first recordings have confirmed that the swallow is real, and I'm not just losing my mind. It's a pillar of silence with a diameter of approximately three meters. Seems like the higher I go, the less I record. This might be a coincidence, or it could be connected to the data loss that led me here. The pillar of silence? She is talking about the silence. Is she suggesting it's more than just an architectural quirk? But what could it be? The lieutenant doesn't answer. He follows your gaze, studying the basins. The water shines in them. No ripples. Read the 8th entry. March 52. This is this month, isn't it? Some kind of some kind of disco men have appeared next to the church. I've been trying to record the silence to find the epicenter, but now it turns out I've also been capturing the future of dance music. One neo-disco song over and over again. Fortunately, this song is so monotonous, I was able to devise an algorithm to factor it out. The other day, one of the disco men came in. Before I could even say hello, she got scared and left. Good. I don't want anyone distracting me from my work. She must be describing a cell. The girl on the ice? Sounds like her, yes. Ninth entry. March, fi March 52. I got a call from the repeater station. Someone has tried to access the radio computer in our old office. Oh my god, this is so recent! In Martinez. Can't do anything about it. The storekeeper still doesn't want to let me inside the building. Thinks I'm part of some kind of curse? How Martinez of her. That's me! I was the one who broke into the ra that radio computer. And the storekeeper must be Plaisance! I knew it wasn't a good idea to meddle with that machine. 10th entry. March 52. A new 2 meter aux cable, noodles, crackers, ping ping energy drinks, water, toothpaste, gum, also some canned air. Your reading is interrupted by the sound of the church door opening. That was genuinely terrifying. A strange woman makes straight for the radio computer. Man, it's rare we get to see an NPC move other than... Big boy Kim. Are we not going to react? I mean, she, she isn't even slightly bothered by this. She's just shown... She, just ignored us! Radio computer, I see. She glares at you as she holds down the off button for several seconds. The machine reboots. I do apologize for the intrusion, madame. We are with the RCM, you see. Hmm. We're here on a side case, representing certain music venue organizers. Well, you won't find any music venue organizers here. She barely looks up from her keyboard. You hear the machine whir back to it life. It is me and my computer, and it has been this way for weeks. Now, please give me some room. I need two seconds to see that you haven't destroyed anything. I'm good with computers. I'm on one right now. After she has rebooted the machine. I mean, yes, Kim. Obviously. Thank you. Uh, are you done? What is it? The woman is still hunched over her keyboard, gently illuminated by the purring machine. I didn't break anything, no, did I? No, you just printed out my personal lock and wasted some paper. It does not look like a big loss to her. Um, hey, you by any chance the lead programmer on Viral Untethered by yes. any chance? Or no, she not thinks... anymore. That project is dead. Oh, I thought that's what you were bringing back. She doesn't seem too surprised to be recognized. Rather sad. Something passes over her face before she straightens her back. Sorry, but who are you? What are you doing I here? I have Sona Lukan and Kilde, the former lead programmer of Fortress Accident and RSA radios. I have over 16 years of programming experience, and I'm proficient in both Vox and Orbis languages. If you're not here to hire me, I don't really know how can I help you. She turns back to the terminal. Did she say over 16 years of experience? She must have started programming when she was still a teenager. 
Have you seen the crap man? No. But you know he's around. Yes. He's seen you. And? And? The, the crab man has seen you. I don't care. I don't care about crab men. She barely looks up. Now tinkering with machines prints her. Wow. She really doesn't. I'm not afraid, this one. Why are there so many machines in this place? I brought them here. These are my machines. Please don't touch anything. Why do you need an antenna? I use the AR-1 as my REMS Prefects processing unit. Wait, what? REM Prefects, my radio computer? And that antenna is its processing unit. Yes, oh, you really don't know anything about radio computers, do you? She stopped working now. Uh, she clearly doesn't. Ah, uh, I know a little. All right, well, all radio com computers perform operations up on air. So in order to gain more processing power, you need to invest in a good antenna. Wait, uh, what's on air? On the front, the unified front of radio waves. Licensed and controlled by Lintel in the Eastern Cylindric region. It's all around us, she waves her hand. That's what on air means. Like love. <laughs> Thank you, conceptualization. Much appreciated. And the AR-1. Is it a good antenna? She stops to think. I guess it is. So far, I've been quite satisfied with it. Martinez is an unstable region with bad coverage, and the operation has been surprisingly stable. But it's not the cheapest one on the market, so I wouldn't recommend it for your regular red tape operations. Phaser 1000 is a foolproof line for civilians. <coughs> anyway, she turns back to her terminal. Should do some research before you decide to buy anything. Ask around, compare the prices. There are many milieus dedicated to that sort of thing. She liked telling you this. Calmed her nerves. What are you doing with your radio computer? I'm working. Working on what? Could you... Could, could, could you just shush for a moment? Or get to the point, I really need to focus on something. It's not just rudeness. It really is hard to concentrate on whatever she needs to do. I'm not helping. What about those bowls of water over there? They are connected to my REM prefect. She looks up. Whatever you do... Just please don't move them, okay? Thanks. Short and terse. There you have it. Whatever she's using them for, they're hers. Right, I'll try not to touch anything. Next question. Great. She dwells back into the glowing terminal. Uh, what are you doing in an abandoned church? You really like those questions, don't you? There's a hint of amusement in her eyes. Um, you're op occupying a public space. I need to know what you're doing here. I'm conducting a scientific research here. You can't throw me out. She says, ready to stand her ground. What research? I'm looking for the location of a two millimeter hole in the world. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That does sound a little important. Wait, what? Thanks, Logic. Very, very logical of you. She's looking for a disruption in the radio waves. That's what her personal log said. The lieutenant raises his brows, but doesn't say anything. Is the hole connected to the data loss in your journal? Yes, and that's what led me here. She stares at the burnished antenna on a nearby table. But I suspect it might be a, a more complicated than that. What does a hole in the world mean exactly? Exactly what does it mean? There's something frantic about- Oh, there's something frantic about her as she logs her gaze with you. Eyes shining like pearls. Up to now, it's been impossible to say what it is. Because it's impossible to measure... Nothing. What do you think it is? What qualities does nothing have? How do you measure something that does not exist? She's waiting- Oh, d does not exist. She's suddenly absorbed in the conversation, waiting for your answer. Easy. You measure it by the world around it. Hmm. You measure it by collecting data on its surroundings, on that which exists. Exactly, she nods. Very true. That's what I've been aiming for, but that's why I have those basins. I tried using hydro trans transducers to record the silence, to find out where it begins. Ha! <laughs> hydro transducers! That's what those water basements are. Basins are. Devices for recording sound through water. But honestly, it's not progressing very well. She goes silent, staring at her circle of basins. It looks like some kind of ancient ritual. But does it have anything to do with the necroplasmic life forms? Ghosts in everyday parlance? <laughs> I'm not gonna ask. The science lady about the ghosts. Uh, do you have any idea where this hole might be located? Somewhere underneath those roof beams, I assume. She looks up. Eyes trying to pierce the pitch black heights above. Without much success, strange things may flourish in the dark. 
Why there? There's this place at the back of the church. A place where all audible vibration seems to cease. I've named it the Swallow. And the higher you go, the less you record. It's the Pillar of Silence. Are you sure it's not just an architectural quirk? Maybe, but it's an oddly close to the physical coordinates of the data loss that led me to this place. This is where the Crab Man lives. I know. You don't think Crab Man here might be a little responsible? No, I don't. Sounds mildly annoyed by this line of questioning. I didn't have any choice. My hand's typing hundreds of commands into the machine. You said your research isn't going well. Why not? Because it's just trial and error. Trying to locate the swallow. The exact point in space. And I don't have a... She stops mid-sentence. You know what? It would be really helpful if you could just stop talking and let me work. I'm gonna talk about ghosts now, because you're a bitch. Does it have anything to do with ghosts? Ghosts, she repeats. No, I don't think so. It hasn't, I don't believe in ghosts. What about other supernatural entities? I don't believe in them either. Expert advanced remote viewer? What is that? See me on the veil six times, for fuck's sake. I don't believe in them either. What? Not many- oh, what not many know is Necroplasma exist. Great. What are we talking about, and why? She gets back to work. A clear signal that this branch of conversation is over. That's all I wanted to know about the scarier two millimeter hole in the world. For now. Great. Thanks. Uh. So, how do you feel about a nodic dance music? <laughs> what? She squints her eyes. I hate it. I bet she hasn't even heard it. Have you actually listened to it? Like, actually listened? Actually, fuck it. Same here. It just doesn't connect here. Tap on your heart. Not like disco does, anyway. Maybe I'd have to be on drugs. Forget it. But a sober mind, it just sounds like uninspired rug whipping. Oh my god. No idea what it has to do with either dancing or music. Right, right, but how do you feel about a club for a nodic dance music? This isn't about those speed freaks in the tent, is it? She looks up, shaking her head. I've got some news for you. It's not a nightclub they want to build here. What do they want to build, then? Take a guess, why don't you? Ah. Uh, I'm still convinced they want to establish a nightclub, right? No well, I fixed it! Come on! Where is- the oh, where's the option like I already talked them out of this bullshit? Uh, maybe some community space to help the elderly? <laughs> the lead programmer sighs. <sighs> I can't believe they got to you so easily. Go have another talk with those up-and-coming entrepreneurs, will you? Thanks. Good luck, Lieutenant Notes. I'm not coming in there. Oh, I'll leave you to work in peace now, because it's 1.30am and apparently that's when you come to work! It's like me, really. I work all through the fucking night and make videos in the day. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. That is where I'm gonna have to leave it today. Uh, unfortunately, once again, this isn't like another... I mean, I still wasn't able to do like as long a session as we normally do, because I'm still a very busy boy. Today is actually New Year's Eve! And I am going out for New Year's Eve, I'm going to get royally blasted. And next session you will have an incredibly hungover me, and that'll be fun, won't it? I'm gonna be even more angry. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, share, come and do all that amazing stuff. It really does help out both me and the channel. And I will see you in the next one. But for now, this is Sober Strike signing off. Goodbye!